Hi. Today, I'm going to explain a science fiction film called Last Sunrise. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, a voice narrates to us about the current condition of the world. He claims that air conditioning, oxygen, and sunrise are some of the most important things in the world, but now the world is void of all of these. The narrator cannot remember how many days it has been since the sun collapsed because it is difficult to tell with no sunrise. A few years ago, people used all the fossil fuels and everyone turned to solar energy for their basic needs. The narrator laughs at people who used to say no matter what happens, the sun will rise tomorrow because that is not true anymore. The sun has completely shut down and the world has no source of fuel anymore. Cut to the day it all started. The story takes place in a futuristic China. where everything is almost fully powered by solar energy. A young man named Sun Yang is woken up by a futuristic AI robot named Ilsa. Yang analyzes the satellite data from a multi-million dollar company called Helios. Helios is the manufacturer of solar power that fuels 3/4 of China. Its CEO named Wang is the center of this historical change and is praised for his accomplishments. Yang analyzes Helios satellite data and updates it on his website. As he does this task, Yang is bothered to see a nearby star disappear. He claims that the disappearance of this star has some effect on the sun itself. However, the AI robot reminds him that such a deduction doesn't follow the law of conservation of energy, so it is not possible. When Yang gets out of his apartment, we see every street and every shop using solar panels manufactured by Helios. In the background, the company broadcasts the development of solar energy in District 4, the only district left for Helios to take over. Its logo is everywhere. The following day, Yang is woken up by an emergency alarm on his computer. He finds out that the sun's luminosity has dropped by 15% and is continuing to drop quickly. The AI tells Yang that his assumption about the star was accurate. Yang quickly tells Ilsa to call Helios CEO, Wang. Yang asks Wang if he knew that the sun was going to die today. Wang instead questions him what he would do if today was the end of the world. When Yang says he would find a way to survive, Wang gives him an address and asks him to come there if he survives today. Yang then barges into his neighbor's apartment to get a better view of the sunrise. As he stands on the windows, he sees the sun flicker. His neighbor, Chen Miu, is confused as to why he is here and asks him to go away, but Yang doesn't even blink his eyes as he watches the sun die. TV start to broadcast the event unfold, and reports of a flickering moon from the other side of the world are heard. Suddenly the flickering starts getting violent and everything goes dark within seconds. Yang goes back to his room as Chen Yu follows him, asking what is going on. He ignores her and asks Elsa what is going to happen now. Elsa informs him that the temperature is going to drop to 0 Fahrenheit in a week and minus 100 Fahrenheit in a year. Oxygen will slowly deplete, all forms of life will disappear and the earth will become a frozen planet. Yang asks Chen Yu to leave the city and goes out himself. People are confused and panicking. The grocery store is full of people trying to stock up supplies, but the cashier cannot check out because of lack of power. The lights are still working, but they will be out in 24 hours. Yang takes a bottle of water and a map to help him find the location Wang had told him about. On his way out, he is walking through a dark alley and a mugger hits him unconscious and injures his leg. He then takes his money. When he opens his eyes again, Elsa announces to him that he has slept for 12 hours and 18 minutes. He rushes back to his apartment and packs his clothes and some instant noodles. Chen Miu is at his door with her backpack, asking for his help to call her parents. Yang tells her there is no way he can help her and asks her to go away. However, when she mentions owning a car, the two decide to travel together. Before starting the journey, Chen Miu makes Yang promise that he will take her to her parents' house after they visit CEO Wang. The two then leave for the place and encounter a large traffic jam on the way. Chen Miu gets out of the car to go to the washroom. And Yang takes this opportunity to drive away, but is stopped by a crowd. When she is back, she asks him why he is not in the place they parked, and he lies, saying that he was making a U-turn. The two finally reach Wang's home at night and meet other people who happen to be stranded there. They drink around the fire while a socially anxious Yang stays in a corner. Later, his watch runs out of battery and Elsa stops talking to him. The death of the AI robot saddens Yang, as she was his only friend. Chen Miu notices this and tries to comfort him. The two talk and bond. Later when they wake up, Yang asks Wang what his plan is. Since Wang is a billionaire, Yang believes that he has a way to survive. To his distress, Wang claims that this situation is beyond repair. He wants to stay in the place until death comes. According to Wang, a highly advanced civilization from far in space is harvesting energy from other stars, 
and simultaneously terminating life on other planets. This time, the Earth is their target and they have been successful. A wormhole has been created in the center of the solar system, and with a lack of gravity, all the planets will soon fly away from the system including the Earth. In the end, Wang gives Yang the coordinates of a location of District 4, and tells him he should go there if he really wants to survive. When Chen Mu wakes up, the two continue their journey. The temperature has fallen exponentially so much that Yang's bottle of water freezes. Chen Mu notices a space shuttle taking off, and Yang comments that it might be rich people trying to fly away to another planet to stay alive. He drives Chen Mu to her parents' home as promised, and continues his journey to the place Wang told him about. However, he notices Chen Mu had left her plant in her car and goes back to return it. When he gets there, he finds a distressed Chen Mu alone in the house, she doesn't speak a word, unlike her usual talkative self. All of the people of the town had left in the time of emergency. We see the fish aquarium and the house is freezing. Yang goes inside a room, and is horrified to see both her parents dead in the bed. He takes a letter from her father's hand, and brings it back to Chen Mu. It turns out that they were preparing for Chen Mu's arrival before the death of the son. As they wrote her the letter asking her to take care of herself in the city, a group of thugs entered the house and killed both of them. Chen Mu breaks down crying, when Yang tells her that he too is an orphan and doesn't know who his parents are. He asks her to come with him to District 4, the place Wang told him about. The two then continue their journey. After a while, they reach District 3 and are surprised how the map brought them the wrong way. Their car's battery is dying, so they go a little forward, and see a house selling electricity. When they go in, an old couple welcomes them and claims they have electricity that they extract from coal. However, the woman then locks Chen Mu inside the washroom and snatches the car keys from Yang. They apologize as they take the car and drive away. Chen Mu and Yang are in distress. They are close to District 4, but Yang's leg injury from the time the thug hit him is getting worse. He tells Chen Mu to go there alone, but she insists she won't leave without Yang. After much thinking, they make their way to District 4 on foot. On their way, they rest for a while feeding on instant noodles and watching the beautiful and cruel night sky. Without the sunlight, it looks astonishingly beautiful. When they reach the city area again, they find their car deserted by the side of the road. But just then, a group of mine workers comes looking for them. To save Chen Mu, Yang turns himself in. They take him to their headquarters and keep him as one of the mine workers to extract coal. Chen Mu however doesn't give up and goes to rescue Yang with just a pepper spray. She manages to free him from the place, but Yang gets shot in the process. When they are back in the car, Chen Mu drives to District 4 at full speed, hoping to save Yang. They stop at District 4's entrance, and Yang realizes that the place has geothermal energy that can save them. They continue their journey and see the car's windows and the road starting to freeze. They do not have a lot of time, but just then their car runs out of battery and stops. With no way out, the two stay together on the back seat, holding each other's hand. An automated voice from the car says that the two are experiencing their last moments on the earth. After a while, Chen Mu calls Yang's name but he doesn't answer. Crying, she places her head on his shoulder and falls asleep while freezing. Sometime later, a car stops beside theirs. A couple comes out of it and brings unconscious Yang and Chen Mu with them. They drive the two to a safe place in District 4. In the end, a voice in the background narrates that the Earth is moving at high speed into another galaxy. Soon, they will reach their new home which has three suns.